I've said this before, I legitimately feel terrible for young men in the modern age because the internet is constantly contaminating their mind with what it means to be good looking or what it takes or what you need to be successful as a man. There's so much I could talk about on this subject here because the young male audience is highly monetizable so there's a lot of these ghouls that have recognized that they can get a ton of doubloons by creating a problem and selling the solution to this audience about like, you need to be having sex three times a day otherwise you're a complete failure and you're less of a man for it. Uh, if your jawline isn't chiseled, if you don't have hunter eyes and a cantle tilt, you will actually never see a booby in your life. I'm your only hope. I can be your savior if you buy my course. Otherwise, get ready for a pathetic life of virginity, you swine. And it even extends into the fitness industry. I'll blow the lid off of this one right here, so get ready. Almost every fitness influencer you see online is on gear. But some of them pretend that they're not, saying that they're natty, and they push supplements and other products onto their audience under the belief that they can look like them. Even though it's impossible because they're not on the same gear or anything. But they'll still say shit like, hey, got these new pills in, it's, you know, eucalyptus urine extract, so boof one of these in the morning and you have a six pack by night. You can use code WAYMAN at checkout. And it's all just a bunch of fucking dirty barnacles, it's all just a huge money making scheme. The young male audience right now, I feel, is more insecure than ever. And that means that they're buying more bullshit than ever. And the one I want to focus on today is looks maxing in particular. Curtis Connor recently did a video on looks maxing, and it's a banger. I think he covered it really well. However, there was one very crucial component of looks maxing that he decided to sit on the sidelines for and not do. And I don't fully blame him. But I go where men dare to tread. I'm not afraid. He shied away from doing jelking. Looks maxing incorporates jelking, depending on whose courses you're buying or whose advice you're following. And jelking is an old friend. Well, definitely not a friend. An, an old arch nemesis of mine. This is an old internet meme. From back in like 2009, 2010-ish, I can recall, somewhere in that general ballpark. And fundamentally what it is, is a penis enlarging exercise where you masturbate a certain way in order to enhance your size over time. Now for obvious reasons I can't pull up any video tutorials that demonstrate the technique, I can't show any of the diagrams or any of that that go over this advanced maneuver. So we're going to do this the old fashioned way, old natural. I brought a tool here, a, a little instrument that we're going to use to showcase the jelking jutsu. So there were a couple techniques back in the day. So, you know what, let me go ahead and give you my origin story with jelking, because I actually have a, a personal connection to it. With It's an old friend. Rather, not a friend at all. We weren't on friendly terms. An old arch nemesis. If you've been around the channel for a while, you'll know that when I was really young, I got most of my advice, my life advice, through the internet. Mainly Reddit, a little bit of 4chan as well. And back then, jelking was kind of popular as a meme, but no one really subscribed to the belief that it would make your cock bigger or anything like that. Some people did it as a joke, or some people did it because, I mean, you had nothing to lose at the time. So there was a few techniques that floated around. I'll showcase both of them on this banana here, my, my helper. So the most popular at the time was the old hook method, and what you would do is you'd hook one finger around your cock at the base, and then you'd really, like, hard slowly like go up towards the top of your penis like you're trying to squeeze toothpaste out of the tube and you would do this for like 10 reps and you would do this for like oh <laughs> okay we didn't need the stem of the banana anyway we can still continue the demonstration on this part so you would go through this process uh, for you know whatever your your rep range was and by the end of it, the idea was it would be stretching the blood vessels and stretching all the tissue in there. So over time, that would be its new norm, like this stretch state. It would, it would grow it over time because it's constantly being forced to stretch. However, there was never any real scientific evidence backing that up. The other big one at the time was you would take like, a, like this and you would go from top and base and you would kind of like, kind of like you were playing a fucking small accordion or something you'd go back and forth just like rubbing it together and then what oh, had a little spillage out the out the ass end of it and what would happen over time is the same thing again stretching the blood vessels and the tissue and all that and supposed to grow your wiener but 
as you might imagine, it doesn't really work. It never really worked. There was never any evidence for it other than like anecdotal shit, which I'm pretty sure were just trolls getting people to keep doing this because what it does do and what is very well documented is it damages your penis and it can actually lead to impotence. And I have a personal story in regards to jelking because I have tried it. Like I said, I got most of my advice online and being an insecure young man, I was miserable. I hated my appearance. I hated pretty much everything about myself. So I thought, why not? I'll give it a fucking whirl. So I did it and I hurt myself. And I think I told a story not too long ago where I did like a pseudo jelking exercise one time and actually had to go to the walk-in clinic because I could no longer piss. Basically what happened is I damaged everything internally in my cock like just threw everything out of whack it was all cattywampus and i was no longer able to pee and it swelled up like a giant fucking head of cauliflower and that is something that does happen with jelking there's no real right way of doing it there's ways of doing it that don't hurt you but nothing really grows your cock through jelking and this has been well known for over a decade but now since everyone is so insecure because they're constantly being fed all of this ridiculous information and all of this awful advice and all of these terrible courses from terrible people it's led to jelking being dusted off and being preached as a real thing so there's a lot of people that legitimately have been jelking to try and grow their cock because they're not satisfied with their size spoiler alert no matter how big your dick is you always want it to be bigger i'm 6.5 inches and proud yet i would love if my wiener was a little bit bigger every man in the world would but jelking is not going to be the thing that, that gets you there. And you also don't need it. Despite what a lot of the looks maxing community tries to indoctrinate the audience into believing, you don't need an 11 inch fucking sledgehammer. You don't need a fucking 15 inch battering ram that the police could use to bust down the door of a crack house. It's once again trying to prey on the insecurities of people online. That is the main thing right now that is generating so much money and why you see so many of these things popping up frequently. Now, I don't think every single thing about looks maxing is evil. Like, I do think there are people online that are just sharing generally good advice and calling it looks maxing. Super simple shit like brushing your teeth, taking a shower, or if you're unsatisfied with your physical body, working out and giving advice on, like, going to the gym, where to start, things like that. All of that's totally fine. Like, that's all good, positive stuff. Absolutely. Eating healthy, great. But then there is that evil side of it where it starts talking about if you don't have a jawline that could cut glass, you're going to be alone forever because it's it's the main thing women like or the hunter eyes instead of the prey eyes. Or if your dick isn't huge and then they start, like, selling courses on, like, jelk maxing and you know, fucking jawline exercises and shit like that. It's, it gets really bad really quick. But anyway, jelk at your own risk. I personally wouldn't recommend it, but I'm not a doctor. I don't know what's best for you. Maybe, maybe you'd see incredible results. Who knows? I think probably not. I think what's likely to happen is you hurt yourself. But if you, if you really are a jelking enthusiast, then I'm not going to stop you. I'm not your dad. I'm not going to bust in there and slap the penis out of your hand or anything. You go crazy on it. I just wanted to talk about it a little bit because I could not believe how popular jelking had become again. So yeah, that, that's really about it. Beware of jelking. See ya.